Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Do you suffer with hair loss? Do you suffer with thinner hair? Or have you gone to style your hair whether you're a man or woman? Have you noticed more hair in the hairbrush? Or have you noticed more hairs on your hands? Or do you just look at your hair and feel that the life is just completely gone from your hair and it just looks completely unhappy or completely drab or flat or fine or thin? When you have fine and thinning hair, it can be absolutely disastrous for you if you don't know the right tricks, tools, and using the right products. But bearing in mind, fine thinning hair, and even the thinnest of hair, can be absolutely amazingly cool for a man and absolutely beautiful for a woman. Today I want to talk to you about Narofrin, which is a product which I have been using for the last couple of weeks, and it's all about improving and that hair preservation of a great, full, healthy head of hair. Now, before we go any further, I want to tell you that, unfortunately, I'm really sorry to say this, but as much as I've wanted to absolutely love Narocrin, it has not been a great experience, unfortunately. I've had quite a few issues, which from now on, I'm actually going to stop using Narocrin, unfortunately. Now, why did I start using Narocrin? So, I have fine textured hair, okay, I have a lot of it, but I have hair which is very susceptible to stress. Um, I can often lose quite a lot of hair if I'm going through quite a stress phase or I can very often I notice that if life is just becoming too much or lots and lots is going on and throwing the imbalance of health problems in one thing or another um, then I do lose quite a lot of hair but it's not necessarily um, to the point of where you would say oh he's got male pattern baldness or anything like that at all because I truly do believe that I haven't got that um, Back in 2015, I had a patch behind my hair here, and that was due to stress in one thing or another, and it actually did grow back through. Not to the 100% thickness of what it used to be, but it did grow back through. Now, recently, I think I'm starting to sort of have that problem coming through again, just through back here. And as you can kind of see, this sort of region is a little bit thinner, and you can tell, as opposed to this one on this side. You may think they look the same, but this side is a little bit thinner just behind here, and I'm getting like a little bit of a, a diffuse sort of thinning area here. But it's not to the point of where it's absolutely alarming and there's anything going on. It could just be nature. It could just be stress. And I say just, that's an absolutely catastrophic thing to deal with, I know. But it could just be that something is out of balance in my body. So what I always say to anybody who asks me any questions about hair or hair loss or thinning is, First of all, for me, hair and hair loss is an inner expression of good health. So if you're starting to see something which is throwing out of balance or your hair's not particularly right or what it used to be, then see somebody of a medical professional or a profession rather and see your family doctor and start from there. Any supplements, that will be your second course of action. Always talk to your family doctor first of all because anything which is out of balance or, or out of zinc in your body can absolutely um, manifest into an issue with your hair. Now for me, which is why I took a break from my YouTube channel, I have had a lot of problems with stress, I've had a lot going on in my mind, I've had a lot of things going on. So gradually over the last couple of weeks I've noticed that more and more of my hair um, is causing me a bit of an issue and I've had more of a hair fall. Now my favourite go-to products are Viviscal for Men Hair Supplements, which are really really great and i done a great experience with them about two years ago now I believe. A year, two years ago I'm not quite sure. Please check on my channel. And I had amazing uh, success on that one as well. And another one of my favorite products is the Stamina Oxidine uh, Cereoxyl Denser Hair Serum. And those two products are my hero products, which I jumped through for hair loss. However, this time you may think, but if you know that they're great for hair loss and hair thinning, why have you just jumped straight to them? Well, to be quite honest with you, hands up, I'm all about honesty and integrity on my channel. They're expensive. The serum which I use by Cereoxyl uh, Stamina Oxidine has increased in price. It's nearly 30, sometimes 35 pounds now, just for a 100 mils bottle. It doesn't last particularly very long, even though it's a great product. And Viviscal, I'll be quite honest, the last course of Viviscal I took for nearly, I can't remember how many months I took it for now, but it was over a year, I believe, and if not a little bit longer. Nine months to a year, possibly a little bit longer, I took it for on and off. And that cost me within the region of around 750 to maybe 850 pounds, maybe even a little bit more. And with the cost of living going up and with me throwing myself back into my studies, and with all of those costs going on, to be quite honest with you, it's not something which I want to be spending that much money on. The Narocrine supplement, which I've started to use, now this is a month's course, okay, month's course. Um, forgive me, I'm not an absolute, uh, I'm not a, 
uh, amazing sort of artist with the lighting on my YouTube channel. Do, do forgive me for that. But this is now a print. I'm going to attach a picture so you can see this on my channel when you click on this one. So thank you very much for clicking this. We're talking all about Narocrin men's hair prevention uh, supplements today. And this is really a supplement which I'm going to give you my honest opinion on. That it is a product which I would have loved to have worked, but sadly it has not worked for me. Narocrin is a product which just from the box here, which it says is nourishes the hair follicles and supports the natural hair growth cycle with 30 years of research behind it. And it's got a gold medal World Trichology Society Award as well. I've tried the 60 tablets for one month su uh, supply. Now, this would have been around £55, £50 to have purchased at any company which supplies Narocrin. Um, Boots here in the UK supply Narocrin. Um, this was actually on a reduced aisle, which I purchased. Um, and actually, believe it or not, I only actually paid £5 for this. And I thought, wow, what an absolute stunning offer. I've always wanted to try Narocrin. I had an amazing experience with Viviscal. But of course, after my hair was in a really great position, I stopped. Now, after Viviscal, your hair doesn't just drop out with the hair you've gained. It's kind of an overall process that you go through that kind of natural phase. And as your hair sheds, then perhaps it doesn't necessarily, after months, weeks, it doesn't necessarily come back as thick and full as when you were taking Viviscal. I always think if you're boosting something, for example, a plant, if you're boosting it with amazing growth and all these great nutrients, and then you take it away, it's not going to absolutely fall down straight away. But after a while, you're going to start to see those effects of not necessarily as great as what it would. And then in the end, you'll revert back to what it would be. Stemioxidine, a really, really great product, which I love to use. But I've left them alone because I would love to try all different products. and I love to bring them to you on my channel. Narocrin, for me, I'll be quite honest. It's given me quite an upset digestive system. It's got fenugreek in it, which is a real, very strong sort of herbal sort of taste in product. It's in a lot of Greek dishes. I love to travel and I love Greece, so I've had it a lot. But when it's in a natural element, it's beautiful. But when it's in a tablet form, it sits up here. So it gives me quite a lot of indigestion, I'll be quite honest. And it gives me a little bit of an upset stomach. And I find myself after taking this, it's two tablets a day, by the way, I find it makes me quite bloated. Um, first thing in the morning when I take it, I take one at, at night. So I take it one in the morning, one at night. Um, and I find myself about half an hour after being quite uncomfortable, quite sort of that fenugreek taste I can taste um, quite strongly when I have a sip of water. It's there in the water as well. So it's it's a little bit, mm, I'm not sure. When I first tried this and I was experiencing those problems um, or issues or sort of whatever you want to call them, I did try to put up with them. I've been taking it for a couple of weeks now and this is only a month's course. So rather than then taking two tablets, I reverted it back to just one, one in the morning. But it still doesn't sit very well with me, sort of stomach related, unfortunately. It can give me quite an upset system um, and it certainly gives me indigestion. So for me, I'm afraid after a couple of weeks of trying this, it's not for me. And, you know, alarmingly, I've actually noticed my hair shedding more since taking this. I don't know if there is a link. I don't know if that is narocrine itself. It could just be that stress is getting a little bit on top of me and perhaps that I'm having more of a problem than what I first thought. Um, but I'm, o I'm okay. I'm okay, by the way. Um, I'm dealing with it. I'm dealing with it. But from a product, a product which I thought would be helping me with my hair, um, and hair is, of course, our confidence. So for me, it's the, the hairline. My hair on the back is really quite, it's fine, but I've got a lot of it. Um, and in the front, I'm just starting to notice a little bit of a change sort of in the density, not this side, here, behind here, I'm noticing a bit of a and just in here. So I'm not going to show you because I don't want to do that on my channel at all. Um, forgive me for that, but um, I want to hold on to that. It's not really something I really like looking at, um, but it, it is a bit more of an issue. Um, and it's something which I'm not really wanting to show too much, but I will tell you that there is an issue there at the moment. Um, I wish I would have took River Scout consistently, to be honest with you, but unfortunately, the budget didn't allow. It's very, very expensive to carry on taking, um, but it would be something I would go back to in the future, and I'm going to try a few other different products, um, but for now, um, having tried this, I don't like 
drop the product, but I don't, I, I really don't like this narrow print. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. It says 30 years worth of research. That's great behind it. It's narrow print with Marilex, um, for man, um, nourishes the hair follicles and supports the normal hair growth cycle. Bioactive, uh, formula for hair growth preservation. It's 60 tablets, one month supply. Um, what have we got in here? We've got Marilex, which is the fractionated fish extract. Okay, so that's 600 milligrams per tablet, I believe. Is it per tablet or is it? No, it's two tablets, by the way. Sorry for that. Um, we've got cherry extract in here. We've got fenugreek in here. We have got ciliac in here. We've got horsetail extract. We've got omega-3 oils and we've got biotin in here as well. All of different variations. For me, I'm not too interested about going into it too much. Um, it talks amazingly on the packaging about how great the product is and how rich the product is in their standout product of Marilex and biotin. Forgive me if I've not pronounced that correctly. It's scientifically formulated to help maintain a normal hair health growth cycle, thereby helping promote normal healthy hair growth. Um, yes. And then it talks about statistics about 80% of men, uh, will experience hair loss in their lifetime. Um, and of course it can be delayed or significantly reduced in many instances. So I think what Narakrin are trying to say is that through their product, it can be significantly reduced, um, and they can improve your head of hair. And it says here on the side, the Narakrin effect, just on this little diagram here, it says a Narakrin effect, um, that you have an improvement over time, and this was apparently over 3,000 Narocrine users asked, 62.5% had an improvement after two months, okay, 70% had an improvement after six months, and then 83% had an improvement after 12 months. So sadly, I'm really sorry to say, as much as there are really, really great reviews out there, I'm sure there are some amazing products in here. It's it's long time associated that fish protein products and all of everything within that nature helps our hair. Viviscan have a very similar product, uh, fish protein. That is really great because I've had amazing, really great results with that. I've really liked that. If you want to have a look at my journey with Viviscan, then please do have a look on my journey. Um, and that's on my channel. That's really, really great. Unfortunately, we're not there now. I haven't taken Viviscan for a little while. It may well be something we revert back to, but I'm actually planning to see um, Holland and Barrett here in the UK. We have, um, it's almost like a herbal specialist, um, so, or more natural alternatives than pharmaceutical medicines and all the sort of symptoms from an oxidol and everything like that and associated with hair and sort of finasteroid tablets, that type of thing for hair loss as well. Um, don't want to touch any of that because I think I've got far too much hair anyway, but yet I'm noticing a bit of a change in my hairline through stress, of course, which may well revert back. Um, but prevention is far better than cure. So I'm going to have a chat with my local branch of Honnold and Brand and see what they suggest because I've had really great experience of them helping me with different health problems, stomach related, skin related, one thing or another. So I'm going to see if they can help me with that going forward. Um, but for now, Narocrine, really, really sorry. I can't give you any points at all because I've not had a great experience. You give me a lot of stomach trouble, a lot of bloatedness, and my hair has started to shed even more. Whether or not that's just life or stress or one thing or another, or perhaps it's just me making an issue. I'm not sure. Um, you know, you can sometimes think yourself into having an issue when you've got naturally fine or thin hair anyway, but I've noticed more of a, a hair fall than what I have for quite a few weeks now, and it's time for me to kind of wake up. Prevention is better than cure. Um, and as I say, from having hair loss back in 2015, a patch just behind you about the size of a golf ball and diffuse thinning throughout the front, um, I've noticed a bit of an issue just behind here. So I'm going to jump onto that, I think, really quite quickly. Um, but having said that, really sorry, Narocrin, it's not a product which I would like to go any further with. Um, I know there are some really, really great reviews out there, but for me, this is this is the end of the road, I'm afraid. So on that note, if you're having great results with Narocrin, uh, man, then fantastic, carry on. But for me, not a product for me. And unfortunately, I'm probably going to throw these in the bin because I'm fed up with the stomach problems which these have been giving me. Because if I have a break from them, I don't have it. But if I take these, yeah, nasty. So, um, yeah, I've had enough of that. And I will be doing some clips coming up soon about the products which I'm choosing to use. Um, and I'm going to go from the advice of uh, my local branch, a bit more of a natural sort of method now going through. But if it gets to the point where I think to myself, no, my hair's really not great, um, then I will be jumping back into Viviscal for men and the Stemioxidine uh, Cereal. So I will just find the budget for it to happen. Okay, so I hope that this is giving you a little bit of a helping hand 
if you're thinking of taking Naraprin, just be really, really careful because um, these are strong products. These are products which affect our body and our bodies are temples at the end of the day. Um, so do just be really, really careful. And I would always recommend speaking to a specialist or a healthcare professional or at least a pharmacist or somebody, forgive me, not at least a pharmacist, somebody of that nature who can help you make those decisions, those well-informed decisions on helping you because of course your health is vitally important. At the end of the day, hair means nothing, does it, at the end of the day, but it does affect our confidence and our hair is us. But yet if that's all we have to worry about, wouldn't it be a wonderful world? So for now, yes, it's my confidence and everything, but I'm just going to try and de-stress, kind of defuse from everything going on in daily life, and hopefully these problems will settle down. It's not a huge problem, but I'm noticing change, and of course, whenever we notice change, alarm bells start ringing. And as I say, I started taking these a few weeks ago because I just wanted to try and see if it would boost my hair in areas, because um, I have got fine hair, um, it's finer in other areas, but I've got a lot of it. Um, but I appreciate others will be sat there thinking what on earth are you going on about all the hair he's got but prevention is better than cure my friend okay so on the, that note thank you very much for sharing this clip with me and until next time remember it doesn't matter what your hair looks like okay you are you there is only one of you and you are absolutely amazing and no other product you need to make you amazing so take great care and until next time i will be seeing you real soon bye for now thank you for being here god bless see you soon bye now